John Jodeci begging WrestleMania match Cena comes out to start SmackDown Live. He gets in there and he basically was like, the main event for Fastlane, I want in. Yeah, but he said he, he wants to earn it. Okay, yeah, let's see how that goes. Let's see how it goes with John Cena earning an opportunity to try to fit in a WWE championship match that's already a freaking fatal five way. Now it would be a six pack challenge if he wins. If you might as well have signed it from the beginning. I mean, come on, this is John freaking Cena. So do you actually think that they're going to keep him out of this? No. So Shane O'Mac actually comes out and welcomes him and actually, all right, I guess he was going to try to say that he was going to try to earn the opportunity somehow. But then Daniel Bryan comes out and he's like, all right, Shane and I actually agree. So at the main event tonight, you will face WWE champion AJ Styles. And if you win, you're in. Oh, my. Oh, goody. Yeah. <sighs> well, at least John Cena will be one of the guys that performed at like three straight pay-per-views in the last, you know, years and years or so. But you know that, yeah, might as well have signed AJ Styles' death warrant in this show. Come on. Do you think that John Cena was going to lose here? Do you think that AJ Styles had a chance of winning? Yes. Was he going to win? No. The WWE Championship wasn't even on the fucking line. So, basically, yeah, that was, yeah. Huh. <sighs> so, Baron Corbin faces Sami Zayn. <sighs> it's funny how Kevin Owens was outside doing commentary. And during the match, yeah, it wasn't a bad match. It wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't Miz. <laughs> it wasn't Miz by any means. Corbin versus Zayn was way better than Corbin versus Jizz, period. It just, yeah. But the funniest thing about it is during this commentary, Dolph Ziggler actually comes through the crowd from behind Kevin Owens and basically super kicks him in the back of the fucking head. And then runs and hides at the side of the fucking ring. So, of course, Sami Zayn didn't even know what fucking happened. And, of course, even if the referee saw it, it wouldn't have made a fucking difference. It didn't happen in the ring. So, Sami Zayn turns around and gets the attention. That gets his attention. He turns around. He hits Baron Corbin. He turns around again, goes to the ropes. And then once he comes off the ropes, end of days, Baron Corbin actually fucking wins a match. Baron Corbin actually fucking wins a match. Again, okay, so he's beaten Sami Zayn. He's beaten Kevin Owens. Hmm. All right. Are we going to make him something now? No. <laughs> Just no, they're not. I mean, damn. Well, at least he's been United States champion, Sami Zayn. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. But you see, after the match, Baron Corbin was, you know, doing his measly little celebration of holding his hand up and stuff like that. And then Dolph Ziggler comes from behind and gives him the zigzag and stands tall. And they still did that record needle shit before they played his music. And it's like, why the fuck would that be there? I, no. Have that when he comes out and have it during his own fucking entrance, but... I don't understand why you would have that after a fucking run-in. I, I don't I don't know. I don't understand. Uh, so, anyway, the Yep movement is pissed off because of what happened. And even during the match between Corbin and Zayn, you had Daniel Bryan and Shane O'Mac talking in the back, and Shane O'Mac is eating popcorn while he's watching, concerned about Kevin Owens interfering in the match, but then that didn't happen. Daniel Bryan, he takes the rest of the night off, and he goes, he wants to go and see his family. But when the Yet Movement bump into Shane McMahon, Shane was like, oh, Daniel Bryan's no longer here, so you might as well hurry up and catch up with him, because Bree doesn't like it when you're late for dinner. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Wow. Okay. Shots fired. 
Well, at least, you know, them being with Daniel Bryan and Bree is better than the Jizz Taraj and the Jizz being with Maurice because, of course, yeah, that baby belongs to one of the members of Jizz Taraj. But anyway, still funny, though. So you get Ruby Riot against Naomi. Didn't I say this last week that this was going to happen? And what did I say? I said that Ruby Riot was going to win. Well, what do you know? Surprise, surprise, Ruby Riot wins. Why the fuck would Naomi win this? So now is okay, two down, two and two down, and one to go for each for Ruby Riot and Charlotte for Fastlane. Psst, waste of time, in my opinion, because of course you knew that this shit was going to happen. Anyway, you had a segment between Josh Dimmel, Breezango, and the New Day. Oh yeah, so Josh Demo, he's he's the star of the new Unsolved series for the Tupac Shakur Biggie Smalls murders. Yeah, that TV show. And speaking of Big E, Big E of the New Day, and yeah, the New Day come in with pancakes and stuff like that. And of course, it's an ultimate confusement. Yes, it's Big E, not Biggie. Oh God. Oh please. Thank goodness that segment ended when it did because it was like, okay, it was dragging on. So you get the New Day. They come out and they're like, all right, huh, they're looking to secure a spot at WrestleMania. But now they have to go through the Usos, their greatest rivals at Fastlane. Okay. Huh. The Usos come out. Now, this got very interesting to me when the Usos came out there because nine years in the Usos have not been a part of a main card at WrestleMania? Nine years? That's fucked up. I, 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 when, I, when I finally realized that, I'm like, is that, wait, huh? <sighs> okay. Now, there's a degree of talent that should be at WrestleMania, and that's happened every year, sort of. But you had even the jizz at, at spots at WrestleMania, and you couldn't do it for the Usos? Damn, that's fucked up. I'm sorry, it, it just fucked up. But they were like, yeah, they've been sidelined, sidelined, sidelined. And they were like, no. Not sideline this time. No, they're going to beat the New Day at Fastlane and they're going to rush into WrestleMania. And then they was like, look, we used to be just like the you New Day. We used to dress all colorful and, you know, we used to be dancing and we used to, you know, walk around looking like a bag of Skittles. But no, never again that. And okay. So they were like, all right, since for the five years you've been stuck in the past, and yeah, at at Fastlane and at WrestleMania, welcome to the Uso Penitent. But nope, they got cut off by Big E. Big E put it down. He did. I mean, the Usos, yes, they put it down. But Big E, he put it down here because he's like five years, five years of it, in the past. Have you lost your mind? He's like, look, we've been breaking barriers. We've been setting records. And I'm like, yes, they have. And they're like, Biggie was like, we didn't get here because of our daddies. Shots fired. Yeah, shots fired. No, he's like, look, we didn't sit on the sidelines. We rushed the field and took what was ours. Yeah, bravo to that. And he's like, look, <laughs> yeah, it's currently yours, but we're going to beat you. And we're going to take, take it again, and there's nothing you can do about it. Looked like they were going to throw down in the ring, and then the Blungeon Brothers come out. They come to the ring. They get in the ring with their sledgehammers, and both teams vacate. So what are you setting up for here? At Fastlane, are the Bludgeon Brothers going to come out and attack both teams, and nothing's going to get settled, and it's going to be a three-way dance at WrestleMania? Could be. I mean, if that's not a common sense path, I don't know what is at this point. So you had 
Bobby Roode, and uh, Randy Orton in the back. All right, look. Why did Bobby Roode bring up the fucking top 10 list again? Randy Orton comes up and he's like, look, this is not about the top 10 list. This is about that title. That title is the only one I haven't worn in the 16 years that I've been here. And you're just, just so happy the one that has it that I have to run through to get it and walks away. And I'm like, done. We're done here. That's it. I mean, you don't need any more of an explanation than that. You, you just don't. So huh, that title, the U.S. title, if he wins, he'll be a part of the Grand Slam Club. He will. Simple as that. So you got Aiden English singing about Rusev Day. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't do any good, I know. But Aiden English actually has a match against Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, okay, it wasn't a bad match, but again, what did you expect? I didn't expect Aiden English to win a match with the 2018 Royal Rumble winner. Didn't expect that. There was a Rusev Day chant at the beginning of the show when John Cena was out, and there was a Rusev Day chant. I, I Look, they're trying to get this guy over. They're trying to put him over. But at this time, um, are you going to put him to the United States Championship again? No. Are you going to catapult him to the WWE Championship? Hmm. He could face Nakamura after Nakamura wins the WWE Championship. Could be. I mean, Rusev Day Chance have broken out, and Shane McMahon has taken note. He taken he's had notice of it, and he even said to the crowd, duly noted. So, who knows? After Nakamura wins, he leaves the ring, but John Cena comes out and they cross paths and they both point to the WrestleMania sign. And I'm like, that better not be the fucking main event at WrestleMania. That no. Just Fucking no, stick you better stick with AJ Styles versus Nakamura. You better fucking do that. Do not have Roman Reigns and John Cena in championship fucking matches at WrestleMania. WWE, don't fucking do that. Fuck you if you do. I will rant like a motherfucker if that happens. But John Cena versus AJ Styles was a hell of a match. But John Cena ended up winning. But because of course. But of course, they have to have him in the fucking fast lane. The six now it's a six pack challenge for the WWE championship now. And damn. I know this is not the one that AJ Styles has, but I hope that John Cena doesn't get it. He'll be a 17-time champion, which was said. And he'll be going into WrestleMania in the main event. No, not. No, okay? Fuck that. John Cena, go after the Intercontinental Championship later when either Finn Balor or Seth Rollins gets it because you'll be a part of the Grand Slam Club then. That's the only championship you didn't have either. Please, I mean, have the Intercontinental Open Challenge after that. But stay away from the WWE Championship. Just, no. So, after Cena wins, though, you get the yep movement of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. They come out, and Baron Corbin comes out, too. So, AJ Styles and John Cena are getting beat down. Then, Dolph Ziggler comes out, clears the ring. Okay, with super kicks and with hits in the back of the head of Kevin Owens. And then, while they were standing in the ring, Dolph Ziggler was trying to play it coy and trying to say that he was going to raise the hands of both Cena and Styles. But, no. He actually hits AJ Styles. AJ Styles goes tumbling out of the ring. But then Dolph Ziggler turns around and gets a fuck you from John Cena. And that ends the fucking show. John Cena stands tall at the end of the fucking show. Oh, fuck that, okay? It's just... Again, do not have John Cena and Roman fucking Reigns in championship matches at fucking WrestleMania. Don't Fucking, fuck that. No, just, no, okay, that, uh-uh, no. <laughs> Again, 
I don't like John Cena, but I don't hate him. I'm indifferent with him. But still, I would not like to see that him against Shinsuke. No, I want to see AJ Styles. And Sh I think the whole fucking universe, the whole world, the whole galaxy wants to see AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura at the grandest stage of them all and have that be the fucking last match of the night. Don't have that fucking Roman Lesnar shit be the last match. Why the fuck should that be the last match? Why? Shinsuke is the Royal Rumble winner. And he eliminated Roman Reigns last. So why the fuck would you put Roman Reigns and... <sighs> I know I'm going to rant about that at the at the WrestleMania results because I already know that Brock and Reigns are going to go on last and I'm going to rant about it because that doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, that was SmackDown Live. Do you agree or disagree with my assessment? What do you, Did you like the results? Am I full of shit? Please leave a comment below. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, shut up those notifications, and fuck John Cena for getting into this fucking fast lane main event, and fuck WWE if you make him a 17-time WWE champion at this event to face Shinsuke Nakamura at WrestleMania. No, fuck you ahead of time if you choose to do that. I don't see it happening, but this is WWE here, and they have put middle fingers and middle toes in us before. Drop kicks, body slams, throwing motherfuckers over the top rope, both be hitting the floor. Yes, I'm a wrestling fan. This is the theme, and I'll see you later. Credits.